So this one is for you, Alex. So over the past 11 years, you have been a key player in the developing, development and management of over, I told you I was gonna mess this part up, Rebecca, of over half a billion dollars in real estate in major urban markets, the US, and as you mentioned, Puerto Rico. So you moved to Nashville in 2023 and you brought with you, you know, there's a certain wealth of knowledge that you can only gain from traveling and seeing different parts of the US and the world. So from everything that you've seen in other markets, what's something that you have really liked that you wanna to bring to Nashville? But don't say anything about the weather, please. <laughs> Good question. I would say Nashville is growing rapidly. We don't have to be like those cities that are larger than us. We don't have to be a New York. We don't have to be a Chicago. We don't have to be a LA. Uh, one thing that I've learned from developing in middle tier or smaller cities is um, everything doesn't require extreme urgency, right? Uh, when I was working in Chicago, I'd be working from six to seven all night, all day, thinking that's the way that it has to be because everybody was urgent. When I went to Puerto Rico, people worked hard, but they stopped working at two o'clock. But stuff still got done, right? You don't have to make decisions right away. You can sleep on it. And usually the best decisions you make is not something you made right away, but you took a couple hours or even waited till the next morning to make that decision. So if we kind of keep the field that we have in Nashville as we continue to grow um, somewhere in between a Chicago and a Puerto Rico where we get our stuff done but we still have fun I think that's probably the best advice that I could give to a city like ours I'm gonna ask you a question that I didn't give you ahead of time then uh, for people that are in that position where they do see themselves you know working more of that Chicago lifestyle of you know I'm, I'm there for 9 10 11 hours a day do you have and any quick tidbits of knowledge for how they could try to break that habit. This feels awfully personal, Alexa. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can only speak for my industry. Usually I work with a lot of decision makers. And one thing I noticed is they're going to take their time and enjoy their life right so if they tell you they need something done yes you can do it and you should do it i guess the best way to do it is a personal story it, it was i was working on the deal and everything seemed urgent hey get this in get this in get this in before it closes i need this document i need this document and i was stressing all night all day trying to get some work done for somebody else and by the time i got it to him he didn't even look at it for a week you know and that really stuck with me like okay i can be busting my ass sorry guys really hard and everybody else is just going to continue to live their life yes when you're in your 20s it may seem like you have to do that um, but if you can find a way to do both uh, still work hard and a set amount of hours that you decide to work you'll, you'll be successful you don't have to you don't have to do the hard grind every day sometimes you do but some most of the time you don't Thank you, and sorry I asked you that on the fly without permission.